Coming up, uh, we have uh, a quite a special occasion, actually, because this, I believe, is the first public appearance of the new president and CEO of the WTTC, that's the World Travel and Tourism Council. So it is actually my tremendous privilege to bring on stage Julia Simpson. Good morning, bom dia, your excellencies, Rita Marques, Secretary of State for Tourism of Portugal, ministers from all over the world, representatives from the media, friends of the industry, and our dean. It is my very great pleasure to be here today to my first public event, as was said, as President and CEO of the World Travel and Tourism Council. Parabéns por acolher este evento na be be bela cidade de Évora. I'm very pleased to say that age three, I was taken on my very first holiday and I was delighted that my parents brought me here. So, <laughs> it is now an honour to hold this position in what has been remarked as the most turbulent times in our sector. As you may know, WTTC is the voice of the private sector globally. We proudly represent over 200 businesses around the world from all the different industries represented in our sector, and as well as some key destinations such as Turismo de Portugal. We all know about the great contribution that travel and tourism brings, representing 10.4% of GDP globally. And a number that I like to remember is before the pandemic, one in four jobs that were being created in the world were being created in our industry. And that means that in 2019, there were more than 330 million jobs in our sector. Unfortunately, this pandemic has been devastating for us, and that is why it is important that we come together as an industry with governments to restart travel and build our resilience for a sustainable future. Over the past year, WTTC has been focused on proving that travel can be done safely, initially through our safe travel protocols. And I'd really just like to pause here and recognize Secretary of State Rita Marquez's work in this and Luise Ara Uncho for their, for their leadership in being one of the very first destinations to implement health and safety protocols in travel and tourism and in putting our sector at the heart of recovery. The pandemic and the resulting travel restrictions, as we know, have had huge social and economic effects that have reverberated through countries, destinations, communities and families around the world. Globally, there are still parts of the world that are effectively closed. But I am pleased to see some green shoots, especially here in Portugal, and especially in a recovering Europe. But we will need stronger international collaboration in order to power a global economic recovery. We will not be able to rely on vaccines for everyone in the world in the very near future. I therefore call on all governments not to look internally, but to respond as global leaders and coordinate global solutions. Border closures and international mobility restrictions are not the only issues, however. There are other factors that are detrimental to our sector's recovery. These include the highly fragmented nature of travel and tourism, the lack of inclusion of this sector in government decision-making, and the limited leadership, I hate to say, of multilater multilateral institutions. 
At WTTC, we work to enhance alignment with the sector, increase public-private collaboration, of which I'm a passionate about having worked for two decades in the commercial se sector and nearly two decades in the UK government. We work to deepen community engagement and ensure that travel and tourism has a seat at the top tables. I applaud Portugal's leadership in opening up travel and valuing our sector's contribution to jobs, wealth and well-being. When travelling, risk should not be managed, should be managed at an individual level, not by putting whole countries on red lists. WTTC will fight for the restoration for every one of the 62 million jobs worldwide that have been lost. Portugal is already making great strides in this. Let us continue working together. Please count on the WTTC and your efforts as you recover. Together we will emerge from this crisis stronger and more united. I wish you a very, very successful event.